Today we're going to be organizing my middle daughter's desk using all Dollar Tree products, possibly a couple of Target Dollar Spot products. But she's recently gotten this desk and um, you can see there's some stuff on top that we're going to be going through and organizing. And then there's four drawers to this desk and all are empty. So we have pretty much everything kind of that she wants to keep in her desk here on the floor or up on the top of the desk like y'all saw. And then we have organizers that I brought up here that I kind of keep in the house that go with her color schemes. So uh, white, clear, and blue are the colors that she wanted in here. So that's kind of what we're going along with. So we're going to kind of go through all of this. It's been cleaned, so we are just merely organizing it. And we've already hung up these Dollar Tree little canvas prints. A bulletin board I got on Walmart clearance. So now we just get to organize everything. And this desk is actually used not only for school, but for crafting and as a vanity so we have a little bit of challenge because there's not a ton of space but we didn't want it to take up a ton of space in her room but we're using it for a lot of things With any organizing project, you really just have to play around with sizes. And when working with such a small space, these smaller, slender organizers really were able to break up the space and organize things without feeling like it was a big, bulky piece that I was adding into the drawer. The majority of these pieces came from the kitchen section at the Dollar Tree. These right here are 
like cutlery organizers. They're white with the gray rubber bottom so things don't slide around. You're going to see me use some clear rectangular bins underneath the desk. Those are from the kitchen section as well. And then in the beginning to organize her hair things in that bottom right drawer, you saw me using these refrigerator organizing bins and those are from the Dollar Tree kitchen section. It just so happens that those just worked out really, really well. completed Savannah's desk slash vanity slash crafting station and I just kept her hair accessories and makeup tote there and then I'll just go through the top of the desk first a lot of this stuff was already on here um, I just kind of rearranged things we have a Dollar Tree paper towel holder for her scrunchies um, her makeup mirror and these are actually one of the Dollar Tree's small desk lamps, but they give out so much light. And then she has a Dollar Tree cutting board, which she does crafts on top of. Um, they come, I think it's a pack of two in those, and then her computer. And then if she's doing crafts, she could just take her computer and put it down below. And then I had gotten a six pack of these little desk organizers off of Amazon and I had two left over from my desk. So I'm giving her those two because it just, it elevates a lot and, but it also keeps things lower than that magazine organizer she had up there with the stuff in it. Um, so this brings things down so it doesn't feel so cluttered in this corner with her jewelry. And then again, all th this is a bin from the Dollar Tree. That's from the Dollar Tree and she has her candle. Of course she won't burn it on top of plastic, but. And then she just has her project folders and journal and planner. And we'll move down to her drawer. So this side is kind of her crafting slash school side so in this top drawer y'all saw I did the markers and color pencils eraser and then in that little pencil bag back there we're keeping extra staples and binder clips this bottom drawer we're doing her small cutting board which I got on clearance in the summer section at Target just recently her die cutouts, large stickers, and then smaller stickers and planner stickers. And we are actually using the Dollar Tree napkin holders to organize those. It just keeps 
things lifted up so she can kind of go through them like so instead of having to pick up a whole stack of stickers. And then to give us a little bit more space um, and utilize this little void um, underneath each side, these are in the kitchen section at the Dollar Tree. So just her extra USB cords and her nicer headphones she'll use for doing school stuff. So she keeps those there. And then underneath, we have a little Dollar Tree trash can with the Dollar Tree trash bags. And then instead of getting rid of the cardboard magazine holder, I'm using it down here to house her trash bags and her air freshener, which we get from the Dollar Tree as well. So she loves to be able to spray her room. And then we'll kind of work over here. This is kind of like the vanity side. So this just has her extra face wipes and her body lotion mist. This is that new shimmer one from Dollar Tree. And this is another Dollar Tree bin in the kitchen section. Her nail glue and extra nail glue. Because she loves putting on um, fake nails. And then we're using these refrigerator organizers from the Dollar Tree because they're really nice and deep, but still slender enough to house her hair straightener, hair brush, and her uh, Sleek and Shine um, cream. So she'll keep that in here because her sister doesn't use that. Her sister has super curly hair, so she does not um, use the Sleek and Shine. And then in this top one, another Dollar Tree bin to keep her headband for when she does her makeup and face mask, her current face wipes, and of course, tissues. So this clears up a lot of space that could be taken up on top. But that is her little small desk. And I hope this gives you some ideas that you can do in your home to organize a small area or desk um, using really budget friendly products. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like anything cleaning, organizing, and creating, hit that subscribe button. As always, have an amazing rest of your day and stay organically you.